in the seventh phospholipid in the series of lectures which we are going to look today is how platelet activating factor is synthesized so platelet activating factor is a very significant phospholipid once again it is like plasmalogen it is an ether lipid platelet activating factor has got varieties of functions in the body it helps in the aggregation of platelets it helps in anaphylax anaphylaxis reactions it helps in the vascular permeability and it is a chemotaxic factor for the cells to get assembled it, it facilitate inflammatory response it also acts as a kind of a signal molecule so therefore it has varieties of functions performing in the body this molecule is observed in yeast in bacteria in plants and also in in uh, in mammals and in human beings this is synthesized in the by the neutrophils by the macrophages by the in the platelets itself now how is this molecule synthesized in the synthesis of this molecule is carried out by two step reaction and in the first step is it is written here we begin with acylglycerol phosphocholine so in the acylglycerol phosphocholine and in this structure uh, if assume there is a fatty acid attached at position number 2 that is an acylglycerol phosphocholine what happens in the first step is an enzyme called phospholipase A2 that will remove this fatty acid once this fatty acid is removed you are having one alkyl fatty acid is removed therefore we call it lysophosphatidylcholine so therefore this is the first step now in the second step is introduction of an acetyl group so acetyl coa is added coa is removed catalyzed by a transferase enzyme and the acetyl group gets incorporated here therefore if the structure will be like this So this is the structure of a platelet activating factor. It is a two step reaction and it is a very important phospholipid that is needed in our system with the varieties of functions it carries out.